He's a kind guy. He's always intentional, trying to talk to me, hang out with me, ask me how I'm doing. Every time I see him, whether it's the morning or the evening or you know, any day of the week, he always makes a point of saying hi to me. He's like just really friendly because I feel like a lot of people, like you can walk by them and you don't really like pay much attention. And I wouldn't expect to talk to him, but he's just like always happy and really friendly and like thoughtful. My name is Marcos Bonat. I work at a facilities department as a custodian. I take care of the squad, the trash, wash the restroom and the bathroom. I end up in being a custodian at Biola because uh, I came in into the United States in 2015, me and my family. My wife got admission into School of Cook, School of Intercultural Studies. She studied uh, intercultural education, and that is how I got my saving at custodian. Monday through Friday, my work routine is um, from 5 a.m. to 2 p.m. each day. 5 a.m. to 9 a.m., I work at McNally and then I, I have one hour lunch break, then from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get out. I usually see him at 10 every morning when he's cleaning the quads. I see his yellow cart outside one of the quads. In living at Stu last year and this year, I've run into him a lot of times just as he's going about his day and I'm going about mine. Usually, right when I need to take a shower, he comes in and cleans. <laughs> yeah, I, I run into him a lot, like right as I'm leaving my room to go to classes. And something he often does, he'll like, hey, what class are you going to? And I'll be like, oh, I'm going to music theory or something. So that's kind of fun. He always makes a point of saying hello and starting a conversation with me. Not just to me, but to anyone. And never neglects to check in with them and ask them how they're doing and just hear about how their lives are going. My approach has been just open and smile and then try to force the conversation. Even some people are so, you know, the way you see their faces, they hold their faces very tight, scary, but I still try to force myself. Sometimes, such people, sometimes I just ask them a simple question. Uh, how are you doing? How is your day? How was your night? Then they open up. I remember uh, last semester, I was on my way to my finals. It was last semester as I was going to my finals. Um, I was really nervous. I had a bunch of finals, and I legitimately thought to myself, I was like, man, if Marcus was just here to like wish me good luck, I would like be so happy. And I walk out, and Marcus walks by, and he's like, hey, are you headed to your finals? And I was like, yeah. And then I ran into him on my way, walking over to my, my big final. So then we, we spent like five minutes and like talking about like the classes I was going to, and he was like, you're gonna do great and he wished me good luck, and it went great. It was a really encouraging thing, and you know? like, I was really stressed, and then like after having that conversation, I was like, you know what, I might do fine, but like, I feel great. <laughs> My life back home in Nigeria, I wanted to play soccer as a professional soccer. So I got involved in different clubs. In 1990, I stopped playing soccer. That was the year I accepted Jesus Christ to be my Lord and personal savior. And, and it, was, it was clear for me that God wanted me to leave soccer. He wanted me to, to go into full-time mission. I went to school of cross-cultural studies at a city called Joss, my church, sent me to start a mission work in a city called Kachia, but in the interior part of inside Kachia. The first three months was a hell challenge to me. Very, very challenging. And I can't speak their language. 
So I tried to communicate with them, but I couldn't. So I changed my strategy. My strategy is uh, because they are farmers. So they wake up very early to go to their farms. So what I did is I wake up very, very early. Then I will be entering from house to house, greeting them, saying good morning, how are you, how was your night, and all those things. Gradually, they started communicating with me, and, uh, and then they started losing, losing that uh, fear that was, uh, was uh, in them. And then when I had COVID, he brought me bananas in the quarantine room in the back of Stuart, and he brought me some Nigerian jollof rice and some water as well. He thought I wasn't getting fed enough, so he brought me all this food, and I was like, wow, Marcus, you're, you're a gem. Like I said, we've known each other for five years now. I met him, I think, my freshman year. Basically, we've said hi every single day since then, talked with one another. He's always looking to have a fun time later on, play soccer, but he's the best cleaner, best all-around person, most amazing, inspirational person I've met at my home so far, so. Working at Biola in general has been, for well, I said, uh, it has been amazing because I, well, I said, uh, how can I put it now? I, I interact with uh, different students from different nationalities and culture, so it has been fun.